Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of Able Maths. Here we're looking at solving trig equations in radians mode. So we can answer questions from exercise 5e. So nothing too much more difficult than solving standard trig equations, only that you're going to be doing so now using the radians mode on your calculator. So let's get started on a bog standard question here. We've got 4 cos theta equals 2 where our answers are going to be in between 0 to 2 pi in our radians mode. So just make sure, first of all, before you try these questions, your calculator is in the correct mode, um, and you can tell the correct mode because of how the domain is set out for you. The domain is clearly in between 0 to 2 pi. If it was 0 to 360 degrees, you need your calculator in degrees mode, but in this case here, it's 0 to 2 pi, therefore, change your calculator into radians mode now. The first thing we'd obviously do is divide through by the 4. We notice here there are, there are no um, multiple angles on this. We don't need to extend the range by anything. And now we just grab our calculator and inverse the cos. Inverse of cos of 0.5, uh, and you can do it in your calculator, you will get um, pi by 3. Now we need to check for other solutions, and this is where the graph comes in nice and handy. Um, this is what the cos graph looks like in radians mode. You've got an intercept at pi by 2, uh, a, a trough at uh, pi, and another intersection at 3 pi by 2, and it repeats itself every 2 pi radians. So, and we're going to put our marker at 0 0.5, because that's our, our output value that we're looking for once we've caused our angle. So in this case here, we need to go all the way down to this solution here at pi by 3. So we're going to need to come down from 2 pi um, by, uh, by the amount of pi by 3 to get to our next solution. So pi by 3 there, so it's the, the next answer is going to be 2 pi moving backwards by pi by 3. So 2 pi minus pi by 3 which will give you 5 pi by 3. So those are the two answers to this question here. The next question here looks like this one here. We've got 17 cos theta plus 3 sine squared theta equals 13. Now in this case here we've got a trig function, a trig equation, where we've got a sine and a cos getting involved. Now in this case here because the sine is being squared I can use this identity that's up here to tell me that I can replace sine squared if I move the cos squared onto the right, I'm going to re I can replace sine squared with 1 minus cos squared. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll replace sine squared with 1 minus cos squared, expand the brackets, and then try and manipulate this into a quadratic. Now, I'm probably going to want my um, cos squared to be positive. So in this case, I'm going to be moving everything onto the right-hand side. So add 3 cos squared, take away 3, and take away 17 cos theta, and... I get a final equation here of 3 cos squared theta minus 17 cos theta plus 10 equals 0. Now we can try and factorise here, and in this case we're going to get cos theta equals 2 thirds and cos theta equals 5. Now hopefully the 5 solution is immediately swinging into your mind, well cos only has a maximum of 1, it doesn't go all the way up to 5, so no solutions for this part of the expression. The only solution we're going to have is when cos theta is equal to 2 thirds. So doing inverse cos of 2 thirds, and we get 0.84 radians, and that's to be expected to have such a low value there. Remember that our domain is only going to be in between 0 to about 6.28, two lots of pi, so it's natural to have a decimal number as our final answer in radians mode. The next thing we need to do, because it's cos, is to do 2 pi minus answer using the graph there. So 2 pi minus answer button, make sure you use the answer button in your calculator to get the most accurate answer you can. And we get theta here is 5.44. Those are our two answers on this side. And remember that on the other side, cos theta is never equal to 5, so no solutions here. Perfect final question then, we've got sine 3 theta, so we have to do something with this domain, equals root 3 over 2. So the first thing we would do with this with this uh, domain is enlarge it by a scale factor 3. 0 enlarged by a scale factor 3 is 0. 
2 pi enlarged by a scale of factor 3 is 6 pi. So we're looking for all the solutions now in between 0 to 6 pi. So the first thing we're going to do then is inverse the sine angle and inverse sine of root 3 over 2 in radians mode gives you pi by 3. And now we need to look for all the other solutions on the sine graph up to 6 pi. And this is what the sine graph looks like all the way up to 6 pi. So I'm going to have my first solution at pi by 3. The next one is going to be at pi minus pi by 3, so that would be 2 pi by 3. The next one's going to be from 2 pi up by pi by 3 radians, so that's 7 pi by 3. The next one's going to be at 3 pi moving backwards by pi by 3, so that's going to be 8 pi by 3. Next one's going to be at 4 pi moving upwards by um, pi by 3, so that's going to be 13 pi by 3. And the next one, the final one here, is going to be uh, 5 pi moving backwards by pi by 3 to 14 pi by 3. So here are all of my six solutions for what 3 theta is going to equal. What you should not do at this stage here is divide by 3 first to find theta and then work out all your other theta values. Leave the dividing by 3 until last. So your solutions here are 2 pi by 3, 7 pi by 3, 8 pi by 3, 13 pi by 3 and 14 pi by 3. And now that we've found all of those three theta solutions, we can now divide through everything by 3. So it's going to be theta equals pi by 9, 2 pi by 9, 7 pi by 9, 8 pi by 9, 13 pi by 9 and 14 pi by 9. And all of those angles there will give you... Um, once we sign them, uh, once you times them by 3 and sign them, root 3 over 2. And you can check any one of them to make sure you've got them correct. Okay, so that's how we do these sorts of questions here then. Not as much more difficult as what you faced in the lower sixth. It's just now your answers are going to be in radians mode. Do expect them to be in decimals. In this question here, we're asking you to write your final answers to three significant, uh, significant figures if they're not exact values. Okay, pause the video and try this question out. So, in this case here, the first thing we're going to do then is divide through by 5. So we're going to get cos 2 theta equals 4 over 5. But, because of this 2 theta inside the angle here, what I need to do is I need to extend my domain and double both ends of it. 0 doubled gets doubled to 0, 2 pi gets doubled to pi by to 4 pi. So I'm now going to inverse cos on the calculator, so 2 pi here, and I'm going to grab my calculator, just have a double check on the top row to make sure it's in radians mode, and I'm going to do cos inverse 0 0.8, and I get, I'm going to write out a few more decimal points that I need here, um, just in case I need to go back to this exact answer. So 0 0.643501. Now at the end I'm going to write my final answers to three significant figures, but as I go along I'm going to write a few more decimal places in there, um, just so I make sure I've got an exact answer. Now what I need to do now is I need to imagine what my cos graph is going to look like in between 0 to pi by 4, so it's going to be along once and along twice. So I'm going to have intersections at um, pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2, and troughs at pi and 3 pi, and peaks at 2 pi, 0, and 4 pi. So, I put my little marker in at 4 fifths, and I now look for all of the solutions that I'm going to get across this whole domain. So I think I'm going to get 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the first solution here, I've found the first solution, that is 0 0.6435. The second solution is going to have to be moved, if I'm going to start at a peak, like I'm starting at a peak here, I'm moving it inwards by 0 
So for this one here, I'm going to have to move back by 0 0.6435. So that's first solution here. Second solution is going to be 2 pi moving back by 0 0.6435. And I'm going to do 2 pi minus answer. So that gives me 0 point, so 5.6398. The next solution here is going to be from the peak moving forwards by that 0 0.643501 value. So 2 pi add, and I'm actually going to do here on the calculator cos inverse 0 0.8 to give me the best answer possible. So my next 2 theta value is going to be 2 pi plus 0 0.643501 blah blah blah. So I get... 6.926686 6 again and the final solution here is going to be from the peak of 4 pi moving backwards by 0 0.6435 so in this case here it's going to be 4 pi minus 0 0.6435 so in this case I'm going to do um, 4 pi on my calculator take away cos inverse 0 0.8 my final answer here is 11.92287 basically okay good now all I've got here now is my two theta values the final thing I'm going to need to do for this question here is half all of these numbers here so I get my final theta values and because I've got to so many more decimal places I'm positive that I'm going to get an exact answer or a more accurate answer than I would have if I just rounded to three significant figures earlier on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do 0 0.643501 divided by 2 on my calculator and I'm only going to write these answers now to three significant figures. 322 two is the first one. The next one is going to be 5.63968 divided by 2 and in this case, to three significant figures, 2.12. Um, so 2.82. The next one is going to be 6.926686 divided by 2, which is 3.46. And the last one, 11.92287 divided by 2 is going to be 5.96. Great, and those are all of my final answers here. Notice how I can do a quick check to see if all of my answers are in between 0 and 2 pi. Well, I know that 2 pi is about 6.28, so I know that that is correct. I could also put one of these answers here back into my original equation just to make sure I've got that correct. And in fact, when you do substitute all of these in, you do get 4 as your answer out on the calculator, or about 3.999, um, which is basically 4. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Have a go at plenty of the questions from exercise 5e. Make sure you can do these nice and simply because there are a couple more um, trigonometry chapters after this and it's really important that you can solve basic trig equations like this. Basic, why are they basic? Well, because it's only lower sixth techniques just in radians mode now. So make sure you can do these. Make sure you're really good at these um, and make sure you can do them without um, going wrong on them. Okay. Thanks very much for watching.